Hello everybody and welcome back to another art video. I hope everybody had a fantastic weekend and is ready to do some art together. So today um, we are going to be drawing one of my favorite book characters. I don't know if you guys know him or not, but he's Pete the Cat. So we're going to get started with that. Um, and what you need today, I'm going to be doing um, the kind of make paint with your markers again. But again, if you don't have the supplies, you can use whatever coloring supplies you want, whether you want to use pencil crayon or real paint or whatever. So for that, you need a piece of tin foil or plastic or something that doesn't absorb marker. Some watercolor markers, I mean, um, uh, water, like regular kids washable markers, pencil, paper, uh, a little bit of water, and a brush. Now I always use this as my mat to prevent from wrecking the table. Um, for you guys, you should use a pencil in case you make a mistake. I'm going to use Sharpie so that you can see really clearly um, the outline of where I'm drawing. So I'm going to tilt the camera now so you can see what I'm doing and we will get started. I also have my little tablet here that has kind of ideas of what we could do. Um, so yeah, so the first thing you're going to do, you're going to start by drawing Pete and we're actually going to draw on the left side of our paper because we... I'm going to be drawing him outside with a cute little umbrella and I want to leave room for that. So what you're going to do, you're going to first start off by drawing the shape of Pete's eyes because they're actually the biggest part of the picture inside his head. So we really want to make room we have for them, make room for them. So I'm going to start a little bit around the halfway part of the paper and we're going to draw basically two large lemon shapes. So one curve, and then a curve on the bottom, and then you'll do it again. One curve, and then a curve on the bottom. Okay, and then you're going to draw two little flat lines right beside where you drew the eyes. And then they will come into a little point at the bottom, like so. Feel free to pause the video anytime if you need to stop and gather supplies or whatever. Then you're going to draw two little U shapes inside the eyes. And you're going to color it black but leave a little white circle. Then for the nose, you're going to draw a little upside down triangle, like so. And then on the top of the head, you're going to draw a curved line that doesn't connect because we're going to leave room for his ears. And you're going to draw two triangles and that is going to be the cat ears. can't forget Pete the cat always has lots of whiskers so we're going to draw his whiskers and then for the body it's actually quite simple you're going to draw a curved line that almost touches the bottom but not quite and then you're going to draw Another one. And at the bottom, you're going to draw a little curved line that sticks out. And a matching one on the other side. 
then they're going to connect at the bottom with a line, like so. And then you're going to draw a line that goes through the middle, up, and that's going to be his legs. And then for his one arm, you're going to draw a straight line like that. With a little curve on the end. And you can put some little lines to show that it is a paw. Now if you want, um, we're going to be drawing him in a rainy situation, so you could give him rubber boots by adding two little curved lines on top of his feet, like so. And we're going to draw his other arm sticking out and holding on to an umbrella. So again, it's like a little curved, it's like a line with a curve, and then it comes back. And then if you want, you can draw some little lines at the tip to show that He has paws, and we can't forget to give him a little tail, so just draw whatever curvy shape you want, like so. Now if you want, you could add a little design to your boots. I'm going to put in some polka dots, because I think that looks really cute for my boots. And then we're going to draw for the umbrella a straight line that goes up to the middle. Just extending from his hand, you might want to lean it out a little bit because if you put it straight up, it might cover the whiskers. And then you're going to draw a second one. Make sure the paw is touching it. to draw a little C shape at the bottom, like a J. And then a matching one. And that becomes the bottom of your umbrella. And then for the top part of the umbrella, you're going to draw a bunch of little curved lines. like so. And you might have to extend this part up a little bit just so that it touches. I think I will have to do that. And then you're going to draw a big curved line and then from each point you're going to draw a curved line that meets in the middle. I think I'm going to make an extra line on my umbrella. It's a little bigger. Yeah, I like that better. And you're going to draw a little line at the top that just kind of shows where all the points meet. Just this little black line like I have right here. And then on the ground, somewhere behind Pete, you're going to want to draw a little line that just shows that he's standing on the ground. I just drew a line that goes straight across like so. Now here's your chance to have a little fun with your picture. You can add some extra things. For instance, I'm going to draw another line on the ground. Like that, because maybe there's like a strip of grass back here. Um, and then I'm going to draw lines like this on the ground, maybe so he's standing on the sidewalk. It's 
up to you. You can go ahead and add some details if you want. You could draw a little tiny house in the background. Um, maybe you want to draw some rain lines in the sky. You could draw a little friend for him, you could draw clouds, whatever you like. So you can pause the video and do that. Me, I'm going to move on with the coloring. So I'm actually going to start with yellow. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your yellow marker, you're going to color, color, color right on top of your tin foil or your plastic or whatever non-absorbent material you're using. And you take your brush, dip it in the water, any type of brush, and you're going to just paint right over where you colored, and it should give you a little bit of color on your brush, and I'm going to color Pete's eyes yellow because Pete has yellow eyes, and if it's not bright enough for you. Like mine's not showing up super bright. You can even go in and just add a little more color right to your page. Like so. You can just color with regular marker. Mm -hmm. And then Pete is a blue cat, so I'm going to go through and do the same thing with the blue. So you're going to color, color, color right on your tin foil. So you have a nice spot like so. Dip your brush in the water, and dip it in the marker, and it becomes like paint. Now I'm going to paint Pete's body blue. Leave his nose white because Pete has a white nose. I got a little paint on mine, but that's okay. make his boots. Let's give him a bright color of boots. I think I'm going to color them red. pretty light so I might just color that one with my marker itself. Think, yeah, I'm gonna have a little strip of grass in the background. Maybe he's standing in his yard or outside of his yard. So let's do a nice big spot of green.
black to make the umbrella handle. Although with the water, sometimes black starts to look green. So we'll see what color it turns out. Here's our umbrella handle, kind of turned like a gray color. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint my umbrella. So you can paint it any color you choose. Um, for fun, I'm going to paint each stripe a different color. with my marker because it looks brighter when I do that. Let's see, I'll do some green. Orange is nice. And finally, I'm going to go and add some red. my umbrella and I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of blue into the sky because it's raining it's not going all the way down though because his, his umbrella is blocking some enjoyed it and uh, please feel free to share your art with me. Have a fantastic day. Bye.